Good evening and welcome back once again. So this week we're playing Villarreal B team at home. There's only three matches left in December. Let's just jump straight into the team selection. Good news is that pretty much everyone that we wanted to was fully fit, good condition, good form, all of that stuff. Cher, I think we're going to give him a little bit of a rest. He doesn't need it, but he's been playing a lot of matches. The flashing icon is gone, so that means he's still going to improve, but just not as a high rate as he was previously. And that's when you really want to sort of cash in on it and play them as much as possible. We'll have brought in Kavazovic in centre events, and it's pretty much the usual lineup with Hetich sitting in front of the back four, Herrera and Fabio Vieira supplying the front three of Arcas, Zerxi and Carlos Perez. So let's just jump in and see how we get on today. If you've been watching the past few matches, well, past four matches in particular, Mihailovic has come off the bench as a sub each time and scored in each match. He actually got two in the last one, so that's five goals in four games. Only playing about, what, half an hour in each game? Just ridiculous. But it's good to see our squad fully fit and on form. Shame about Bajer. I was kind of torn whether I should play him or not. It's a tricky one because Carlos Perez, you know, plays on the right. That's where he's best suited. He's played a couple of games up top and played really well, but that's where Xerxes plays and that's what we're bought him for. We could potentially play him on the left in place of Arcas because I think long term Arcas may not be the number one choice. Uh, but again, I'd rather have a, a right foot player on that side. And the only other option is that defensive midfielder role, which we certainly don't want him there. It's his attack and threat that's the key. He's not suited for that place. We could maybe drop Herrera into defensive midfield. But that's just trying to shoehorn him in. So it's a tricky one. I mean, it's a good problem to have. And a good player that we can bring off the bench or rotate around. It's not like he's going to... There's no players that are going to start every game. So... And especially as we get into further and further seasons when we could be playing more matches, getting into Europe eventually when we're in Division 1. We'll have to wait and see if that does happen. It should in time. It just depends on how long that will be. Bit of a, not scrappy style, but oh, we're not keeping the ball much. For Villarreal are playing some nice passes. They're not going really anywhere with it. And we've won it. Can we keep it in? No, we can't. Just went out there. Somehow we've got 62% possession. I... Can't imagine that's true. Well, that's got to be a foul. He's got absolutely shoved off the ball. That's strange. The, um... The fouls in this game are odd, gotta say. Or lack of fouls sometimes. Ah, I spotted Zerxi there, I thought I might be able to get him in, but it was a very difficult pass to play. That's a lovely pass. Zerxi and Vieira with the assist. Wonderful goal. I thought I nearly spit in the chance, fired it into Zerxi, but it was Carlos Perez here. Hang on, where is it? Yeah, Carlos Perez with a wonderful ball through to Vieira, played it across. Actually, a nice first touch because it was fired into him. But Vieira, very unselfish. And that's really the first proper chance we've had. So, good start. 
It's looking a bit iffy the first 10 minutes or so, I just couldn't seem to... I don't know, I couldn't string any passes together. And Villarreal had a little bit of a spell where they had the ball and playing some nice passes, but again, they weren't really doing anything with it. Ball into Xerxes. And now Carlos Perez. Wonderful ball, and oh, what a finish that was from Arcas. But what a pass. Gonna have to look at that again. I think it was with the outside of his foot. Nice ball from Xerxes and pretty good first touch there. Yeah, outside of the foot. And a great first time finish from Arcas. Brilliant. So it's looking a little bit more comfortable now. But, um, you know, we'll have letting a goal in the last match. Oh, wonderful ball. We're ripping them apart on this right hand side. And I should have just. What are you doing there? I should have just uh, passed it instead of faffing around or shocked or did something at least. That's not a foul, it's... If that's a foul, then... The computer foul me three or four times a game like that, and I don't get the free kicks. But I need to stop talking about that, because it's just the way the game is. I shouldn't be surprised by it anymore. Nice tackle there, though. Thought about playing the pass, but the time had just run out, so it did well to keep it there. Now walk us out wide. Oh, try to put in the ball. Definitely need better wing backs. I didn't even know <laughs> there was a player over there. Um, I definitely wasn't trying to pass it to him. It nearly worked. He was only just offside. Gyoza. Nicely played by Arcas there. I just don't think we'll get much support either defensively or offensively from the wing backs in terms of what they can offer even when they do get the ball. Ah, should have done better there's uh, you know it's actually a half decent ball after I was just slagging them off pretty much. Oh, nice ball through to Xerxes. Arcas. Perez. Oh, straight at the keeper. There's no angle, though. And it's half time. Very dominant. 61% possession. Four shots with all of them being on target. Let's hope we keep that running in the second half. That was probably one of the best halves of football we've played in terms of maybe not style or anything like that, but in terms of just pure domination, apart from that little blip, maybe about 10, for about 10 minutes. And here's Arcas, tries to chip him. Oh. I don't think I've tried many chip shots at all, if any, in PES 2021. They're always a tricky skill to pull off in any pairs game. Some of them are a lot more difficult than others. It's just one that I haven't happened to use really in this one. Zixi. Perez. What a finish. 
Perez, without doubt, man of the match today. He was fantastic in the first half. But that finish was spectacular. Vieira again running the midfield. Lovely ball from August to Xerxes. That's just a ridiculous finish. Nice first touch, but that finish there inside of the post just makes it look better as well. Absolutely brilliant. There's just some games where th things just work and you know things just go your way. It's not like being lucky or anything, just everything seems to come off. Oh, just overplayed it a little bit, but yeah, maybe six he should have had a shot, but it probably would have been blocked like it normally does from that sort of angle. Fabio Vieira, like that. See, <laughs> I know it's in a slightly different place, but that's what would have happened to uh, Xerxes, I think. We will make some subs soon as well, when we get a chance. Oh, nearly got Xerxes through there. Herrera, now Vieira. Vieira, ah. Straight at the keeper. It was with his weaker foot. Carlos Perez again. Arcas has played well too. Oh, good save. Zixi though. Did he just miss that? <sighs> Did he miss that? I actually thought it was in. Oh, so close. Make some subs. Okay, so we're going to bring on Castledean for Vieira. We're going to put Arcas up top and we're going to bring on Harrington for Xerxes. And we're going to take Carlos Perez off and put on Bjer because he certainly deserves to be back in the team. I thought about putting Mihailovic back on because no doubt he would have scored. But I just fancy giving some of the youngsters a chance. And Mihailovic, you know, he is going in January. So there's not really much point of putting him on when we've clearly won the game. You don't want him to really gain experience or anything because he's going. So yeah, anyway, let's just jump in. But yeah, that miss from Xerxes, I just I assumed it was in, and the, the way it bounced off the sort of stanchion at the back, it looked like it had almost hit the net and rolled across. Um, and I, I couldn't quite believe I would have missed it anyway. So close, though. That's going to be a foul. It is. Yeah, but we're going to have to give the, the youngsters a run out because we have sold a lot of players that are going in January. Um, and that's a good thing to trim down the squad and it sort of forces you to use some of the youth players. Ah, oh, Bajer overhead it. It's not like him. I mean... That was a very good goal, but I would not be celebrating like that if I was 3-0 uh, down. That did feel a little bit scripted. Try to attack him there, he bounced off. Try to attack him again, he bounced off. Try to attack him there, he bounced off. That's... Uh... Yeah, without just completely taking him out, I don't know what I could have done. Um... Yeah, I mean... How do you... <laughs> That's just... Yeah. Great finish. Really disappointed because that's our clean sheet gone. And without wanting to jinx it, we're still going to win the match. But they didn't deserve that. That's... I would, yeah, it looks like a great finish and everything, but... They haven't done anything in this match at all.
Kung Kung Share do. Probably not much from there. Yours are a lovely ball. Oh, Castanelli. Oh, that's a really good ball from the right back. Not often we hear that. And Arcas has already scored one header this season. Take them out that time, whether I get the ball or not. Here's Arcas. Now Bajer. Back to Bajer. Oh, nearly. Arcas, nope. I was trying to play it to Arcas. Got ahead of myself. That'll be our throw in. Nice ball to Bajer again. And he's got it back. And I'm not sure how the defender had that. I wasn't actually sure who had it for a split second. Ooh, they're playing risky. I mean, why are they passing it around like that at the back? They need to get it over the pitch. Got a bit lucky with that tackle. So did they, actually. It looks like it could have been a foul. Well worked, though. Nice ball from Herrera. Herrera to Bajer. Arcas. Oh, it's done it again. I thought it was in and it's hit the stanchion at the back. <laughs> oh, dear. Really well worked. And oh, just trying to swing his foot around. It just goes wide. Bloody twice in this game I thought was in. There it is, full time, really, really good win. I would say one of the best performances we've had, really solid. Really disappointed with that goal though, that will let in. 58% possession in the end, 13 shots were right on target. They scored with their only chance of the game. Again, I think it was completely scripted. No matter what I did, I just couldn't even foul him. Carlos Perez, man of the match, without doubt. He deserved more than that. Seven and a half is probably the most you're going to get for a normal game. Sometimes eight, without doubt, man of the match. Xerxes, yes, played really well. In fact, everyone did. Pretty flawless. And look at that now. We're actually eight points ahead of Lagani's. Levante's jumped up a little bit. We could get to a point where we're running away with this, but, you know, there's plenty of games up and coming. Can't be too cocky. But that's it for today, guys. The next match is against a team called Mirandes. We are away, so it might be a little bit of a tough match. Getting towards the end of December, only two matches left now. Then it'll be the January transfer window. Plus, we'll be able to look back on the results of December and see who our best players were. So, hope you can join me for that one. Thank you for watching this. Please like the video if you did enjoy it. Think about subscribing if you want to keep up with the series. And I would say, most importantly, drop some comments down below for some feedback or just for some general chat about PES games. But I'll see you all next time. Cheers.